Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tronage, and today we're going to be talking about the Eashin TX805 package. What is this? It's essentially a video transmitter that comes with everything you'd want, and it's only $14. Stick around. $13.99. That's right, 14 bucks gets you this little package. If you haven't been paying attention lately, what I've been doing is I've been trying to source out different products to put together into what I'm going to be calling the Tronage Budget Build, the TBB Quad. And the goal here, the mission for this build is basically to have the most value for your dollar and get good equipment that is is solid stuff. This unit from Eashin, this TX805, there is a lot of bang for your buck for 14 bucks. Normally for 14 bucks, you're looking at just a simple trans video transmitter, no smart audio, no anything, just transmit your your video signal and off you go and it's just the board they don't really even give you connectors per se and that's it maybe they might give you like no they don't they don't give you nothing but what you're gonna get here is crazy you get all kinds of power it goes up to 800 milliwatt transmit it comes with a sma adapter it's an mmcx connector the 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 durable one that we all want know and love to have on our video transmitters it has smart audio support from Betaflight that you can change your settings in your OSD. It even has a microphone built on so if you, you rock the little earbud in your ear and you want to hear what your quad is doing, it does that too. It's got everything in here for $14. I don't even know how that's possible. I'm super excited about this because it's got a lot in here. In fact, not only does it come with an SMA connector, if you don't feel like buying an antenna or you just want a very durable, but you're, you know, doing a race and you don't want to worry about fixing your antenna all the time. It even comes with a dipole whip antenna in the box. So here's what we're going to do. I'd love to crack this open. I want to see what's inside. I'm dying. I'm dying to see it. So I'm going to bring you in tight. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We'll go over the specs and then I'll give you my thoughts about this. But I am super pumped. So come on in. So we have the Eosheen TX805, 8.5 gigahertz, 40 channel AV transmitter. I have the SMA version. If you, for whatever reason, happen to be running RP SMA uh, antennas, they have a version for that too. So they got you covered. And it's really just what uh, adapter will be in the box. But the unit is the same. Flip it over, goes over the features. It supports smart audio, as I mentioned which they kind of mentioned it twice here because it says support smart audio and then down here it says OSD configuration using smart audio. So they kind of put the same bullet point twice, but you know, whatever. It does 25, 200, 600, and 800 milliwatts switchable. It does one button frequency and power setup, which I'm never going to use because I'm going to be using my smart audio to configure it. Wide input voltage with 5 volt for camera. So basically it has a uh, back on here. So you could take input voltage straight off your pack if you wanted to, and then 5 volt to go to your camera. It has 40 channels with mic. Yeah. A solid MMCX antenna connector and MMCX brass dipole antenna included in the box. Speaking of, let's open it. And there we go. We have a little foam insert with the unit itself. Ooh, it's attached to something. Oh, wires. Neat. All right, so let's take out everything we got in the box. We have the unit. I'm going to put that here. Some foam insert action. We have... Here's our dipole antenna with the MMCX connector. Here is our SMA connector with an MMCX connector. We then have a little spacer thingy, and then what looks like a little instruction pamphlet, and that's it for the box. 
So pretty much here's your instruction manual showing you the information. Here's the inside, tells you all the stats about it, shows you the frequency chart. And on the back, it's showing you the different connection ports and the different light patterns and stuff like that. All right. Now, with that out of the way, let's talk about this unit in upon itself. So right off the bat, I can tell you the build quality is really nice. What's also nice about this, if you've noticed, it has holes here and here. What are those for? That's to put in your stack. So if you want to put this in your stack, you can. You don't have to worry about trying to find a home for it. It's got a spot right here. You don't want to put it in your stack? That's fine too. Just put a piece of shrink wrap over this. You're good to go. Stuff it anywhere you want in your craft. But you at least got the holes here to put it in there if you so choose. It's an option ready to go, which is really cool. It's also very small. Size-wise, we're looking at about 22 millimeters wide. And we'll do this way. We're looking at about 36 standard for the length. It's got the MMCX connector right there on top. It's got your little push button right here for easy access. You don't have to worry about opening it up and trying to hit a button on the top. It's actually on the side. It comes pre-wired, which is really a nice little touch. I didn't even think of that, but right off the bat, you don't have to wire this, solder this up. It's got the wires attached. You just have to hook it up however you would like to hook it up. So you have the green wire, which is your smart audio pin that's gonna go to wherever your smart audio is coming from. You got your five volt for the um, camera. You got a ground, which is the black wire. And you got your yellow wire, which is your video wire. Then down here, you have your ground cable and you have your seven to 24 volts in. So basically, this end of the spectrum is your power cable. This is what you're gonna hook up. It needs seven to 24 volts. So pretty much you can just hook this right up to your regular battery and off you go. You don't need anything special. And then coming out of it, you basically can hook up your video out from your flight controller. We'll go to the video pin here, your ground, and a five volt pin for your camera if you want to power your camera off of this. And your smart audio pin, which will go to your smart audio pin on the uh, flight controller. And that's it. So worst case scenario, you're ready to go. All you do is you clip these wires to be your correct length or if you're using the little connector here for your power connector, that's fine too. Solder it onto your flight controller and you're done. Ready to go. You even just bolt it down onto your stack if you have room and off you go. Now the beauty of this also, like I mentioned, is it has this MMCX connector. Now if you're not familiar, this is a really robust connector and this is where I see a lot of the trend going now for connectors for our antennas. Typically they used to be using what's called IPX, UFL, whatever you want to call it, it goes by both the names. It's that little snap-on button that you kind of push onto. What's nice about this connection is it actually is a good, solid, like, snap-in seating connection. So, you know, you put it in and it's tough to push in, and it clicks in and it's locked in. It's also tough to pull out once you have it locked in. Now, what's great about this video transmitter is, as I mentioned, it has all kinds of power outputs from 25 to 800. So it doesn't matter what you're doing for flight. If you're doing some freestyle, you crank it up. If you're doing a race, you crank it down. It's amazing in that aspect. Now I will say that I am noticing that there's a lack of like, let's say a pit mode, but I'm just gonna check the documentation here real quick. There is a pit mode listed, so I am wrong. There's a pit mode that drops it down to 0 0.01 milliwatts right here. So there is a pit mode, so that's not even a negative because it do, does have it. Bring in the scale, zero it up. Eight grams, they ain't lying. And if you put the little dipole on there, it's nine grams. So you gain a, a gram for the little dipole antenna. Or if you use the SMA pigtail that they give you, 12 grams. What's great about this one is that it has the holes. 
That's what I love the most about it is you can, if you're not trying to do one of those really tight builds, and like I said, this is going to be going in my TBB quad and that I'm not trying to make it difficult. I want to make it very easy to build. So I wanted to make it so that everything had homes. So the fact that the video transmitter can just live in part of the stack and you just bolt it on just like everything else, you don't have to worry about it. It's bolted in. You're good to go. You wire it up. Done. You got your antenna built on. You don't even have to worry about getting yourself an antenna. You just plug in your antenna and off you go. Now remember, word of warning, never, never power up a video transmitter unless you have an antenna attached. The basic principle is that it's trying to transmit. Without an antenna to absorb that energy, that energy will get reflected back into itself and it will burn itself out. Never turn on anything that transmits without an antenna attached, okay? If you wanted to run it with the dipole, you would just hook it up, you plug it in like so, like that, nice satisfying click, and then you're on. You put this in your little stack, you might bend this up so it sticks out of the carbon fiber a little bit, and you're flying. Done. Finished. Oh, you don't want to use this? You want to use a standard SMA connector? No problem. They got you covered too. Now, notice that the SMA connector that comes with it is at a right angle. So if you were using the dipole, you'd set it up so the front of your quad was here and the back of your quad was here and your antenna would just come out the back like such. If you're going to use the SMA connector, then you'd want to set this into your stack this way. So you could either put it this way or this way, whichever way you feel comfortable with. And the idea is you have the right angle MMCX that would connect as such. Nice, satisfying click. And this can run to the back of your craft. And you see it can be bolted into your stack like this. Or you can spin it around and bolt it into your stack like this, whichever is more convenient. Maybe your uh video transmitter pads are on this side of your stack or maybe they're on this side so you can choose which way you'd want it to face. But both are very viable options and off you go. Now the one advantage to doing it this way would be that you have a little easier access for your button if you're going to use the button for doing your settings. If you have it running this way, the button is a little more difficult to push but no real problem there. For $14, you're getting your antenna, you're getting your transmitter, you're getting your standard SMA connector if you want it, and you can run this off of battery voltage, you can power your camera with it, it's got the smart audio, and as we mentioned earlier, it even has the microphone, which is right here, this is your mic. How great is that? You don't have to do anything extra or anything special. I hope you can see how much value is packed into that little video transmitter. Now, obviously, you know, the standards are, you know, the the Tramp by Immersion RC or you have the uh, TBS Unify, the Team Black Sheep product. Those are like, you know, the gold standards, if you will. But they're also rather expensive compared to this for $14. You're getting everything in one little package. As I mentioned, that's going to be part of my TBB quad, which is the Tronage budget build. And we're going to do a whole video of how to hook it up, how to get it into the quad. And then in that video, we're going to be doing some flight tests, setting up the smart audio and doing all that in-depth stuff. So you're going to want to check that out and keep a lookout for it. And in fact, maybe what you want to do is hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell while you're at it. That'll let you know when I post new videos. And it doesn't cost you anything. It's absolutely free to subscribe to my channel. All the links for these products are going to be in the description below. So please feel free to use those. And I appreciate if you do because they are affiliate links. So it does some help support the channel when you use those links below. So thank you for that. But ultimately, I think this TX805 is a huge value for the features that are in it. And I'm super excited to put it into my quad. So as always, my name is Tronage, fly strong.